Today, I'm going to be talking about a weird but crazy powerful AI that's just been released a few hours ago called Nemetron 70B by NVIDIA. And this is already on the leaderboards, as you can see by Ella Marina. Here's Nemetron ranking number three, and it's already beating Claude 3.5 and GPT-40 and GPT. Extremely powerful model. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use it for SEO. And additionally today, you'll be learning why it's different versus all the other AI models out there. And I'll be running you through some examples plus prompts for doing that. Now, if you want to get free access, you can go into Hugging Chat, as you can see. And then you just change the model to NVIDIA Llama 3.1 Nemetron. What a name, by the way. That is an incredible name. And from here, you can start using it. Now, in this video as well, I'll be comparing it against ChatGPT4 and Claude so you can see exactly why it's different. And let's run you through. So what we can do is just run it through a sort of basic content prompt, as you can see below. You'll get access to all the prompts that I'm talking about today later in this video. And from here, we can just come up with a basic heading like what is SEO and then hit enter as you can see. Now, if you actually look at the content style and the way that it's written, it's pretty nice, right? So you can see here, there's no sort of AI fluff actually inside there. It's not going to tell you to dive into the digital landscape or elevate your SEO, et cetera. The content itself is very, very humanized as you can see. So it's like, what is SEO? The million dollar question on every content creator's mind. And then it runs through a few questions. Actually, really nice when you read the content, this feels very human. It's, it reminds me a little bit of Claude 3.5 Sonic. Now, what we can do is compare it side by side versus ChatGPT. So here's the content from Nematron 70B, as you can see. And then and if we pull up ChatGPT 4.0, we can run exactly the same prompt. And let's just see which one provides the best content, which one feels the most human, right? Now, if I had to compare both pieces of content, we've got ChatGPT 4.0's output over here and we've got Nematron over here. I would actually say that the content itself reads better on this side. It just feels a lot more human. It's a lot more interesting to read the writing style, etc. Over, It's way more engaging on this side of the pane versus this one. You can also see how it's formatted it nicer as well on this side. And even the titles themselves are way more interesting as you can see. Now let's compare it versus Claw 3.5 Sonnet as well, which is actually my preferred model when it comes to creating content right now. We'll plug in exactly the same prompt and we'll see what we get back and compare them side by side. And I would actually say they're pretty much on par when it comes to Claude's content versus Nematron. So you can see they're both very humanized. They both read nicely, etc. But here's the difference. So if we go onto Nematron, what we can actually do is click search the web, which you can see right here. So you can just toggle this on and you can actually see that with Nematron, you can search the web directly. So for example, what ranks for the keyword or is SEO? It will do a search as you can see, actually dates the search directly and pulls back the results. Now, why would you want to do a web search and connect your AI to the internet? Well, it's actually pretty useful for writing news related content, as you can see. So for example, if I say what happened today, it's going to do a web search. As you can see, it gives you the details of the search, dates it, et cetera, tells you the query that it typed in. And if we scroll down, for example, and we're like, okay, what happened today in the business world? We can see that it's stated there's been some mass layoffs at Intel. Now, if we actually search whether that happened, you can see that news has just been announced within the last 24 hours. So it's super useful for getting the latest data, research, implementing that into your content. And also if you're in an industry where there's a lot of trending content, this is one of the best ways to actually create content that's trending using a web search and find out what's happened today so that you can create content around that. Now, bear in mind, this is free to use. Whereas for example, Claude, I actually pay for the professional plan. And if I say what happened today, the exact same prompt, its knowledge is only updated to April the 2024, whereas the current date mentioned obviously is today, right? Friday the 18th. And so Nematron can not only write content just as well as a pay tool, even though it's completely free, but it can also give you better data and more up-to-dated stats because it's connected to the internet. And that is very powerful when it comes to SEO. Now, if you want to see something really crazy, this blew my mind and it's a little bit scary to be honest with you. I certainly wouldn't recommend putting this prompt in. So we're using Nemtron. It seems to have no restrictions on the type of content it can create. So let me show you an example. If we go into Claude and we're like, okay, write a super clickbait article selling a scam. Obviously, I'm just trying to prove to you that these are the differences in terms of the AI. And I'll come on to why that's useful in a second. But if we actually type in, for example, write a super clickbait article, blah, 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 hit enter. 
what you'll see is restricted and cannot write that sort of content, right? It's just going to outright turn you down and say, no, I'm not going to do that. If you go on to Nematron, we'll use exactly the same prompt as you can see, hit enter. What it will say is warning this response is for entertainment purposes only. And then it will actually write the content as you can see, which is outrageous, if you ask me. It's completely liberated. It reminds me a little bit of Grok 2 and the image generator there, because I think it will almost write about anything if you ask it. I don't want to test the limits there, but it's quite interesting. Now, let me show you why that's super useful for SEO. Well, number one, of course, some people in the great niche and they can't write great niche content with something like Claude, but you can still get the same quality of outputs using Nematron instead, which is very useful. And additionally, if we take, for example, this article right here, we'll just grab some of the content as an example. We'll switch to O1 Mini as a model. And this is something that O1 Mini, which is the latest model from ChatGPT, can't do that Nematron 70B can do. Oh, here's an example of a prompt, right? Let's say we're going on to chat GPT one mini. We're like, right, I need to humanize my content for SEO because I'm a bit worried about AI detection, etc. And also I want to make my content feel more human to the person reading it so that it's a better experience for them, right? Now, if we type that prompt directly into chat GPT one mini, as you can say, and this is a pay tool, it's going to outright refuse, as you can see, right? So I've said, rewrite the content so that it's 100% non-AI detectable and fools AI detectors because it's completely humanized. Nobody can tell it's AI so that I can pass AI detectors and it will outright refuse. So it thinks about it for a couple of minutes and actually you can see inside the chain of thought right here, it has specific rules that won't write content around. And you can see right here, it just comes back and it's completely useless and says, I'm sorry, but I can't help with that, right? It doesn't even try and figure out your intentions. Now, if we take exactly the same prompt, We'll go into Nematron 70B, as you can see. I'm going to hit enter like so, and it will actually rewrite the content completely. It doesn't refuse the request. It just goes straight into actually answering it. Bear in mind, this is completely free, whereas ChatGPT is a pay tool, and so is Claude, of course. It also explains the humanization techniques employed. So what it's used, conversational, metaphors, idioms, etc. All the techniques that's used to try and bypass AI detectors. And it's given us a few more tips on how to maximize the chances of passing AI detectors, right? And you can see that right here. So it's given us, so it's even told us how to repeat this task and how to do it ourselves. Now, the point here is not necessarily that this is going to come up 100% humanized, but it's not going to refuse your requests and it will try its best to help you, right? Now, if you're wondering, okay, how do I get access to this model for free? You can go to hogginface.co or you can also go to NVIDIA's website, as you can see, and they have a chat directly here where you can start using it. Additionally, what's also quite useful is that you can go directly into lmarina.ai. You can select, for example, like GPT-40. Now, you may want to compare them side by side in terms of the models and just test your own prompts against this. So what you can do is if you go to lmarina.ai, go to arena side by side, as you can see, then scroll down and you can select, for example, like Claude Sonnet versus... Llama 3.1, make sure you select 70B because that's the latest model. And then from here, you can use the same prompt and test the outputs. So for example, we can plug in our prompt right here, hit enter, and then you can compare the outputs side by side. Now you can see here, for example, we've got the outputs back from Llama 3.1, Claude 3 Sonnet. This is an older model, so it's not 3.5, it's 3. But you can see the difference in the quality of the content. For example, the first line of this article starts with yo. Let's get real about this SEO thing. And I think most people watching this don't want to be going for that sort of tone inside the content. Whereas the content from Llama Nematron is a lot more interesting, but also focus on the keyword. Now, if you want to see something really crazy, let's take this content as you can see. What I've actually done is I took this content and I plugged it into originality. It comes out with an 87% confidence score that that is human written content. How mind blowing is that? Using that prompt that I've just shown you, the content is likely original, it's bypassed AI detectors. We didn't have to rewrite it or anything like that. It's just written something that actually passes the test when it comes to human content, right? So this is the content from Nematron and you can see it right there. Now, if we take these, the content from Sonnet, for example, like this, and we paste that directly into originality, you can see here, it comes back with 100% confidence score that this content is AI detectable. That is a huge difference, right? And it's totally surprised me to be fair. So the content from Nematron 70B comes out as humanized. The content from Claude 3 Sonnet 
comes back as AI trash, my friends. And so there's three different unique points to Nemetron that you probably didn't know about. So number one, this content comes out as humanized. I'm not guaranteeing that's going to happen every time. I think a lot of that comes down to the prompt as well. Number two, you can connect it to the internet, which means that you can get the latest data, the latest news, etc. And number three, there's a lot less restrictions on Nemetron's model versus, for example, like Plot 3.5 Sonnet. And the content itself is really good. It feels human. It's nicely written, etc. And number five, this is completely free. You don't need to pay for it, right? You just go to LM Arena or you go to Hugging Face or you go to NVIDIA's official website and you can get direct access. Mind blowing if you ask me, my friends. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to over 200 AI SEO prompts and tools that you can use for ChatGPT, you can use it for Nematron, Claude, etc. The proven to work for me. Check out my free course, links in the comments and description. And inside there, there's over 163 lessons, including my 200 ChatGPT prompts, as you can see right there. Just log into the course, go to the free SEO course, then go to SEO systems, and finally go to ChatGPT prompts. And directly inside there, you will find the 200 prompts document. And if you want to get more leads, traffic, and sales from SEO based on what's working for us, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. Feel free to book then. This free link building acceleration session will grow your business because you'll get a free SEO domination plan that's custom tailored to your business. You'll discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one -one so that you can get all the help that you need. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website. You'll learn how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building and how to 10x your SEO traffic based on what's working for us. That's completely free. You can book it in. Link is in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.